My name is Ravi, I'm a junior doctor outside of Ealing Hospital uh, on the first of our two day um, strike and we're um, outside the hospital today, you might have heard a lot about the current disputes uh, the contract has finally been published and we've all had a look at it individually and um, there are several points that we're still very very concerned about uh, the practicalities of the road are being implemented and so far we, when we've expressed these concerns we haven't been listened to we've been brushed off. So we're the, we're the ones on the front lines working these rotors and we've had a look at the way they're trying to implement these changes. And we've tried to feed back that actually these are the problems with these proposed changes. These create these very practical problems. And rather than acknowledging our feedback and acknowledging our, our troubleshooting, they've brushed us off and they've just basically said we're, we're greedy. Um, they've defamed us in, in the media, you know. Um, and so there are still lots of concerns and and they're just not being addressed and that's why we're out here today I really don't want to be out here I, in an ideal world I'll be inside the hospital getting on with my job which I enjoy very much um, so yeah there are, there are lots of concerns that are being unmet and that's why we're here that we're not being listened to um, beyond that I say I'm you know it's, it's a very difficult decision for us to make we don't enter into this lightly. Uh, a lot of the certain publications, I'm not going to name them, they've tried to make out that we're all uh, greedy and so on and that we're, this is about pay. It's not, it's about the changes to our working patterns that, that that's going to be the result of the contract. Um, we already work weekends, multiple shifts, and that's part of what we signed up for, you know. Um, and that's that's fine. We're all aware of that, and most of us are willing to work more weekends to make it work. But but we need to do that in a in a safe way. And at the moment, these changes aren't achieving that. It's so in terms of in terms of our well-being. And and the thing that alarms me the most is the you may have the Department of Health recently published an equality impact assessment on this contract. And the most shocking thing is that they 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 said they they've they've identified that these changes disproportionately impact women and single parents. And rather than trying to address that, they said, well, that's just acceptable collateral damage. And um, this is quite shocking, actually. This is 2016, this isn't 1816. So when the current government say they're trying to make progress, they're not, they're, they're trying to send us back to the battle days where where women, it's harder for women and single parents to be doctors and, and we don't think it's very fair. We, you know, I think equal rights for uh, my female colleagues is a very important issue and that's another reason why we're out here. So in summary, this long rambling speech, um, please support us. Um, we need your public support and uh, we're trying to do the best for our NHS that we can. Thank you very much.